Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello, I'm so glad you've joined us here. Before you continue watching though, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you've hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. But yeah, onto this video. It has been just under one year since I had my nose job. So I had my nose job, I believe it was March 22nd, 2017 so I thought I would do an update video but also just take you along the whole process and everything once again and I've got all your questions that you guys sent me so I'm gonna answer absolutely everything including the cost this is like a Q&A slash vlog type video so you get to kind of see the process as well as get all of the information possible on a nose job I'm gonna start with one of the most popular questions that I got and it was how did your family react how did you tell them did they come with you and did they support you being an Indian girl from a Indian household obviously surgery isn't something that is so common within our culture it's not something that we really talk about that much either and it's just not something that people do that much and if they do it is kept a little bit on the down low I don't know why it's like that in our culture but unfortunately it is a bit of a sensitive topic so so I was a little bit scared to tell my family however my family my parents have always known how much I hate my nose like everyone knows since I was a young age that I didn't like my nose so um, I found it fairly easy to be able to tell them like that much at least and when I first told my parents they weren't really too keen on the idea obviously being my parents they loved me the way I am and they were more concerned about all the risks and precautions and all of that kind of stuff um, that comes with having surgery I took them with me to a consultation and unfortunately that consultation didn't go too well so we left with my dad especially my mum also so, but my dad especially having a very very sour taste in their mouth they were not keen whatsoever and the whole way home my dad was just googling no nose jobs and like looking looking it up and basically obviously seeing everything negative come up on Google which is so easy to find so I did kind of leave it for a bit and I tried to just let it go and I thought okay if they're not going to support me I don't want to do something like this without my family support because I, I wouldn't be able to go against them kind of thing and then months and months went by and I just couldn't get it out of my head it just felt like now was the right time the second time round, I kind of just went and did the consultations by myself and looked for the right surgeon but once I was happy with my surgeon I then took my mum with me so that she could meet him herself and just be a little bit reassured and feel better since the last consultation was so awful I am very very lucky that my family are quite open-minded and they're also very supportive the main concern was just if something goes wrong and obviously that is going to be anyone's concern but once it was all booked and they knew I was getting it my family were amazing and I think everyone was looking forward to it just as much as I was and yeah everyone just had my back on the day my mum actually came with me and she was there by my side when I came out and feeding me and everything and through the whole year of my nose healing and all of that everyone has just been so cautious my family have been extremely supportive I feel like this would be a very very difficult thing to do on your own because it's such a for me it was such a special moment in my life where I'm finally doing something that I wanted to do all my life also it's a massive change you kind of do need your family support especially since I live with my family as well so how did I pick my surgeon I only really had two consultations I know loads of people go and like see loads of different surgeons but for me I think that would confuse me even more so I kind of just wanted to narrow it down a little bit I basically went to Maya clinic in London they've got a quite few Maya clinics I've got them all over the UK but obviously me being from London I went to that one and within my first consultation with Maya they give you an option of like the surgeons that they feel would be right for you so you don't meet the surgeon on the first consultation so I decided to go for Dr. Andrea Gianni Trapani I believe I've said his name right it's a long one he was a surgeon that didn't do 3d imagery the reason I wanted a surgeon that wouldn't show me a 3d image is because you might not look exactly like a photoshop picture and if you have that photoshop picture in your mind and your result doesn't turn out like that not saying your result is a bad result it's just not exactly like a perfect photoshop picture you will then be disappointed and then you'll be mad at the surgeon and it just gets complicated so when I did have my first consultation with him I basically knew he was the one because I didn't even need to tell him what was wrong with my nose a lot of the time when I would see um, like even like 
friends, family, or like anyone, if anyone I would talk, tell about my nose, they'd be like, mm, yeah, I can kind of see it, but not really, it's not that bad. But Dr. Andrea was able to see exactly what other people can't see ever, and only I can see, and I was just like, yes, if he can spot all of these things without me even telling him, I know he's gonna be able to fix all of those problems, because obviously he can see there's a problem. I also just got a really good energy from him. I felt like I could trust him. That was kind of basically it. I booked it and that's how I got my surgeon. I was a little bit afraid of all of the risks and complications and it just going wrong or me not liking it. That is just something you have to come to terms with and you have to get over it if you are going to go through surgery. You have to be sure a hundred million thousand percent that a, this is what you really really want to do because there's no going backwards and B, you're happy with your surgeon and C, get into your head that perfection does not exist. Do not look for perfection. So on the day of the surgery, the surgeon comes to see you beforehand just to go over everything. Here is the consent form. The operation is called open rhinocephaloplasty with the alar base reduction, that means the nostril mm -hmm. to have this bit a bit smaller. Mm -hmm. It will be done under general anesthesia, and the complications are the same that I told you last time. Bruising and swelling are not a complication, okay? Mm -hmm. So don't worry, tomorrow can be massive, okay? <laughs> so tomorrow can be quite frightening. So when you wake up from surgery, some people may have a sore throat. I personally didn't, but I'd seen so much that everyone has a sore throat, but I, I was okay in that case. You're just gonna feel very drowsy, very out of it, and the most important thing to do is make sure you might not have an appetite, but make sure you eat something, make sure you drink loads of water, apple juice. You basically want to flush out all of the anesthetics so that you can start feeling a little bit better and start recovering quickly. Also, I wouldn't say I was in pain at all at any point. The whole thing is not painful. Even when you wake up from surgery, all it is is discomfort. You are just very uncomfortable while everything is just on and you're strapped up there. Um, it's just discomfort. As Dr. Andrea explained to me on the day, bruising and swelling is not a complication. On day two, it gets even worse. You wake up and your face is literally, mine was out here. It's day two and this is what I look like. Cute, right? I just thought I'd check in and show you guys the progress so far. Swelling is really bad, but it's expected. Guys, so today is day three. This is what I look like. The puffiness around my eyes is going, but it's now on my cheek. At this point, my nose is like oozing. It's not like boogery. It's like just a clear oozy. It looks like a gel. I'm still quite tired. So what you need to take with you on the day of surgery is really not a lot. The hospital will have anything that you need for your nose anyway. And when you get home, you don't need that much either. So what you do 100% need is a neck pillow. So you know those travel neck pillows? Definitely get yourself one of those and bring that. Arnica pills. I don't see the point in the Arnica cream so much because it's just an on the surface type thing. If you have it, great, but I would definitely recommend getting the Arnica pills. They're like teeny tiny ones, but that was very helpful because my bruising went down within like 10 to 12 days. You need pajamas that are gonna button up, nothing that goes over your head, even underwear as well. Don't have anything that's gonna go over your head. Make sure you can button it, strap it, something like that. You're also gonna need to take biotin. Biotin is your life saver when you have a nose job. I cannot stress that enough. You're gonna wake up in the middle of the night with the most dry mouth, or you're gonna wake up in the morning and your mouth is gonna be dry and cracked and it's awful. You literally feel like you've been on a desert island for months and you've not had water. That's how your tongue and your mouth is gonna feel. It's disgusting. So if you have biotin, it's like a fake saliva. You can get it from your local pharmacy. You just squidge this like jelly type saliva type thing into your mouth and kind of just juggle it about in your mouth. And it basically just coats your mouth with a gel type thing so it doesn't feel as dry and doesn't get as dry. If you do need anything extra, I would say cotton buds because when you do come to the point where you need to just clean or like wipe anything away, like any gunk or anything, then a cotton bud is very, very helpful, but just be careful. In terms of sleeping, you do have to sleep propped up for a little bit. Now, I 
think they told me I only need to sleep propped up for like the first two weeks or something like that but I was mega extra and I just didn't want anything to go wrong and again I just didn't want any kind of like blood rushing to my nose to cause more swelling. I basically slept propped up for I think about three and a half weeks. Maybe that's a bit extra, I don't know, but I just wanted to be on the safe side. And also when I did sleep propped up, I had my neck pillow with me. So today is day seven and this is what I look like. So you can see that the bruising's like going down really really significantly and quite quickly and that is because I've been taking Arnica pills. I know I look so weird right now like this is all so swollen. This is like so pulled up right now that I don't have a top lip. Like my top lip has disappeared guys. Oh my god it's so funny. All you can do is laugh. So sleeping has been okay. Basically you have to sleep kind of upright so yeah my pillows have kind of been like up like that and I literally just sit here with a travel pillow because this has really really helped me like keep my head to the side if I want to but then it won't allow me to like knock my nose or like roll over onto my nose so that's really really helpful. So after one week I had my cast off and I basically really hated my nose after one week. So I'm so excited I'm getting my cast off today and I'm gonna see what my nose looks like. Something to keep in mind is that when I get my cast off later I know I'm not gonna look like myself. I most likely may not even like my knows it is going to be very swollen like i can see it's still swollen like up here i need to just let it ride out ride the wave and let everything fall into place this is my nose guys i've just had my cast off right now i know i look so different if you have a look oh my god <laughs> my skin is looking gross as well i can't believe how straight my nose is but obviously it's really swollen around here like I said before, like I said earlier, like I just have to bear in mind that it's swollen right now, it's gonna go down. I left and I walked out then I realised what had happened and I was like, mum what have I done like what have I done like this is awful I just told myself just wait it out and it was honestly so weird waking up and seeing myself and like being like oh is that you like this this is weird but like I said time is the biggest healer and it does get better now the healing and swelling time it takes one whole year guys one whole year but you will first see like kind of the best results after six weeks after about four to six weeks you can can really see that change in the swelling and in your face and in the nose and you can see that it's getting better so we are now into week four and it's the first time like I'm probably going out like not out out but I'm going for dinner with my friends so I've properly put makeup on for the first time since my surgery and this is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like from this side. But so far, I am so happy with the results. Like from what it looked like to when I got my, like, yeah, from what it looked like from when I got my cast off, which I hated it when I had my cast off. It was like, like this to now this is such an improvement and to think this is only four weeks so just imagine what it's going to look like in six months what it's going to look like in a year's time but so far i'm loving it you I cannot rush this i promise you there is no fast track to getting your nose healed whatsoever you just have to wait it out it is just patience so i know i have makeup on but i don't actually have any visible scarring i was cut here but i have no scarring just there is where I was cut. Also along my nostrils, there's no scarring whatsoever. And literally you can see from all of my other videos where I've not got any makeup on, there's no scarring. So it healed so well. In terms of me getting another surgery, I don't think I would. I'm really, really happy with the way it is. I wouldn't say it's the most perfect nose. It's not like a Kim Kardashian nose, but if I compare it to what I had before, it's a massive, massive improvement and I have to get over the idea of perfection. It's so easy to nitpick and pick faults and all of that, but whenever I compare it to what I had before, I'm like, damn, this is a good nose. This is not bad. This is my surgeon, everyone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 10 months post-op? 10 months, yeah. Okay, I was looking for your pictures. This was the starting point. I think you look nice. Yeah. I think we got a nice result. How is going on there? Any issue? Any no. problems in breathing? No, no breathing problems. All good? Because you look great. Yeah. So, this was the front view. Then we have the side. 
Guys, can you see this? This is the morning of my surgery. <laughs> well, anyway, it's never the best possible pictures because no, in the morning we are stressed. Yeah, uh, yeah. You probably didn't sleep well the night no. before. So. But anyway, I think we, we can see the difference in the nose. Okay, that's good. I think today is the last day, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, because if we can, it's going on smooth. Yeah. Then I want to ask you, then, I can get my nose pierced again now? Yes, now I think you can. Yeah. Uh, try to do the piercing not on the uh, cartilages. It, the piercing just, should it just be done be, anyway. Can you see where there's a little in the, hole? In the junction. Yeah. Yes, so yes you can yeah. go to a professional. I will. I won't do it myself. Someone. And straight again. A little bit higher. And a little bit higher. Very good. Thank you. Then it's visible <gasps> on the front view. Yeah. Oh my god. The front god, view guys. is even. Uh... <gasps> guys, who even is that? That is embarrassing. <laughs> And finally, I just want to touch on the cost because I know that was such a big thing for everyone. I paid £8,000 with Maya. It was just under £8,000, but I'm rounding up. It was like seven, six, eight something. So it was basically just under £8,000. Who paid for it? I did, me, all by myself. I don't want anyone saying that I had some sugar daddy pay for it or my actual dad, no. And I wanted to pay for it all by myself because it's my face, my nose, it's my decision, my choice. And I feel like it's literally the best best money I have ever spent and I am so 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 happy with my result. This is what my nose looks like one year on surgery. Look at the side profile, I would say that's pretty cute. Guys, this used to be my bad side. The right side was the bad side and this is the left side. So guys, that is my one year update and my whole nose job experience. I hope I've answered all of your questions. If I missed anything, please do leave it down below in the comment section and I will do my best to answer it. I'd love to know if any of you guys are about to go on your nose job journey or you're thinking about it or if you've done it before, your experiences, leave them down below in the comment section. I really hope you appreciate me sharing my whole story and my journey with you guys so give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and obviously make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my other videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next one Mwah. bye